to know. So, Kayla, why don't you take us into our next news piece? Yeah, and this next news piece is our main topic that was teased up at the top, teased up with our title, and again, been vibing with Venom by Eminem all day to get me hyped up to discuss Venom, Let There Be Carnage. And regarding <laughs> regarding this film, <laughs> Tom Hardy and Andy Serkis are doing their rounds as far as promoting it and getting everybody excited and ready to go see this film. And most recently, they sat down with Entertainment Tonight Canada to discuss those characters of Venom and Carnage for this film. So much of this video is just really them two kind of praising each other and the work they did and also praising Woody Harrelson's portrayal as as uh, Carnage. But I think a lot of, of people out there are running with this direct quote from Tom Hardy himself saying there is a Spider-Verse, a Venomverse, and a Multiverse. And a lot of people are thinking that that him kind of discussing that, that both of them continually saying things like, oh, we're building up this universe is getting a lot of people amped up to see, you know, is it possible for Tom Hardy's Venom and Tom Holland's Spider-Man to eventually cross over with these two kind of verses that they are yeah. setting up. Now, that's not the only kind of tease that we've gotten as far as this goes but i will pause there uh dj anything else you would like to add about just that one quote and that interview uh between the, or with those two in it no not necessarily anything major i just you know i want these characters to end up on screen together in a major way something bigger than what we saw in mm -hmm. spider-man 3 in the sam raimi universe um Beyond that, you know, there's not a whole lot to say, you know, we don't, I don't think we have this in our show notes for tonight because it just came out like today or yesterday, Okay. but somebody flat out asked Topher Grace who played Eddie Brock. I saw that. Um, yeah. And it's just kind of <laughs> funny. They said, Hey, uh, are you in this one? And he like sarcastically responded and was like, Oh yeah, I'm totally in it. And I'm going to beat the crap out of Tom Hardy and Tom <laughs> Holland's just a dork. And, and I'm paraphrasing and he goes, and then, Han Solo is going to resurrect and he's going to show <laughs> up. And it, he was and then Topher Grace, admittedly massive Star Wars fan. And everybody knows that he's famous for his super cut of Star Wars uh, prequel trilogy. And that's never seen the light of day. Unfortunately, I would love to watch it. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, he kind of joked about that. Beyond that, you know, I, I don't have much just to say, except that I have a very high respect for Andy Serkis because of my Lord of the Rings fandom. Mm -hmm. And, and if I'm venturing off into a weird direction of film, I love him in 13 going on 30. I think he's hilarious in okay. that Jennifer Garner classic. I, I have a few chick flicks. I really enjoy 13 <laughs> going on 30 is in the number two spot behind mean girls. Uh, you got to watch. I think mean girls is like a once a year revisit. It's hmm. so good, but okay. that's just, maybe it's me. I've seen I don't it know. once and I'm good with Yo, seeing it once. You're, you're missing, you're missing out brother. It's a good movie. Um, it's just funny. It's just not a lot of funny bits, but anyway, love Andy circus so much. Yeah. have a, a massive respect for him. So I'll watch anything that guy does from now until eternity oh, pretty much. So no, sure. I got nothing. I got nothing else on this one. Okay, yeah. well, let's keep going because, again, there are so many small details here yeah. that can kind of, you know, and I'll probably just reveal all of the small details, and then that way we can build into, you know, this big, bigger discussion here. Tom Hardy, and I think this might be the biggest one that a lot of fans are running with. Tom Hardy was recently photographed in a Spider-Man No Way Home hat that only the production crew received. Only the people working on the film had any access to receiving said hat. Now, that photo, I was trying to get it ready to for our YouTube audience. I was trying to get that photo on display for you to see it, but it's deleted everywhere, and rightfully yeah. so. If that has any indication as far as Tom Hardy being involved with No Way Home, they wouldn't want it out there. So it, it's hard to find it uh, in the format that you know I would need to have that format in as far as showing <laughs> yeah. to our YouTube viewers. But regardless, it's fact. I'm not making this up. Uh, Tom Hardy was spotted with a Spider-Man No Way Home hat. And this, has, again, has led speculation and all these people going crazy. Yeah. And so that's one thing. So let me just pause there, and I'll just go ahead and add the next thing. And that way I think we can just kind of talk about all of this all in one big thing. We also recently got a new Venom poster that says, in two weeks, the universe is expanding. 
expanding. We're getting bigger. We're adding things to this universe. Also, Andy Serkis uh, recently, I think yesterday, added to this discussion as far as will we ever see Spider-Man and Venom cross paths. And Andy Serkis said there's more still to unpack in the Venomverse before we go there. So it's definitely a story thread that all of these creators are rightfully so trying to set up. Now, let's pause there. I think that is all the facts that we know as far as teases and setups as far as these two characters eventually crossing over and seeing each other. So, let's go back to the hat situation. What is the likelihood of Tom Hardy actually showing up in No Way Home? And I guess I can go ahead and give my answer if I'm being completely honest. I think the only way that we see him is an end credit scene. I think there is too much going on in this film that I don't want Tom Hardy's Venom to be thrown in there and not get the attention that it deserves. Because there's so many other things that, that have all of our, like all of these returning characters, this multiverse idea, like all the, all the three different Spider Men, apparently. So yeah. let's just focus on that for No Way Home. And then worry about Tom Hardy's Venom in another film is my opinion. And that's why I'm saying if he is in No Way Home, I think it's only a post credit scene. What say you? What say you? For, well, fair enough. First of, <laughs> or first of all, firstly, um, yeah, I mean, it makes sense that he would only show up in a post credit scene. Yeah, but I think he's in it. Ooh. I'm just going to be honest. With you. I just think he's in it. Like. Listen, okay. I'm an avid hat wearer. I mean, uh -huh. I'm not wearing my Mando Talk hat tonight. I mean, sure. I will probably on Thursday. I, I love wearing hats. People who know me, who see me on a regular basis, know I wear hats. Guys, I don't leave the house without knowing what hat I'm wearing. Okay? And if I'm wearing a hat that I clearly don't need to be photographed in, uh -huh. I'm not going to wear it if, when I take a selfie. Because the picture was, to me, it was a selfie. You don't hold the phone way out here and click. And was he then, holding the phone? I don't no, know. it was the other guy. Oh, okay. But but still, like you don't get in a picture and not know what you look like. Sure. I mean, maybe you'll take a random one and like in like Snapchat and send it to like your best friend and be like, oh, look how goofy I look. But like that's not. This was a clearly like, oh, let's Kodak this moment and move forward. And, mm. and that's what they did. And he's, and now I saw somebody say, Oh, he's wearing some other, you know, shirt Cobra from Kai. some other Cobra Kai. Yeah. That does, now people will be like, Oh, does that mean he's a Cobra Kai? First of all, to those people, of course not, <laughs> uh, obviously. Cause he's not in the Cobra Kai karate kid universe. He's in the Spider-Man universe. He 100% uh, exists in the Marvel universe, whether it's the cinematic or not. So for him to be wearing a Spider-Man hat, dude, Tom, come on, dude. Like if you're not supposed to know, let people know you're in this thing, don't get photographed or even wear the hat in public for that sure. matter. I'm sorry. I just look, it's just a bad move. If you're supposed to keep the secret, it's a bad move. Well, and I see maybe that I think maybe that lends itself to for us as an audience to believe that he was just given the hat like as as a. As a token sure. for appreciation, you know, hey, we got this, this Spider-Man No Way Home hat. Maybe he I visited mean, the set one day, and they're just wanting to show him as far as, like, you know, here's well, here's what your character could eventually, you know, be introduced to. What do you, what do you got to say? He visited the set because he's in the movie, Caleb. He visited the set because he's in the movie. Like, come on, man. The guy, <laughs> the guy is wearing a hat. You don't just give somebody a hat i mean maybe you do okay like people have given me hats before you gave me a hat okay it's right it's right there all right now i understand people give away hats but you sure. don't give away a hat like that if you don't expect to for somebody to be involved mm. you know it just it is what it is and so I've, of all things to be talking about of all the things in the world a hat i mean <laughs> it's just a hat but at the same time like you just don't you don't you just don't do that i mean if you know better you don't do it you know yeah it's like if somebody saw george lucas wearing a star trek hat mm -hmm. the world would explode 
Because pe- sure. people would be like, why is George Lucas wearing a Star Trek hat? He's not involved with Star Trek. Oh, maybe he is. You know, it's just, it's what would happen. So, mm. I mean, it, just as an example, I know it's ridiculous because it probably has never happened. Um, but still, I think the hat thing, this he's in the movie. Like, and I said this last week on the show, I was just upset that this movie wasn't rated R. Right. And, and I'm upset at the runtime of this movie. 90 minutes. However... I know it's like night. It's not even, I can watch Peter Pan in the same amount of time. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that should tell you everything you need to know, yeah. but because he's wearing the hat, it says no way home right across the front of it. It mm-hmm. has Spider-Man on the hat. There's a reason that movie's short. There's a reason it's not rated R and it's, it's that he's in the movie. You know, I think all, all evidence points straight to this. If this is a murder mystery, boom, mm-hmm. we got him. You know, it's what it is. Okay, I still slightly disagree. I and that's okay. I, I don't know. I still don't expect to see. And another thing that I'm still internally processing and struggling with is the only reason why the MCU has Spider-Man right now is because a contractual agreement that Marvel slash Disney made with Sony. Marvel slash yes. Disney have no owning rights with Tom Hardy's Venom right now. And from what I've been reading and hearing is the Marvel Disney slash Sony agreement contract is fixing to end. So that's why I'm saying I think if Venom is in No Way Home, it's in an end credit scene to tease a Venom 3 where we see Venom and Spider-Man clash because that's when okay. Sony will then have the rights to Spider-Man yet again. You 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 threw out the line. Okay. You pulled it back. Okay. You're reeling me in. All right. <laughs> I'm I'm I got I like what you're saying now. I uh, I I want to continue to see Tom Holland in the MCU. Sure. Um, I understand that there are contracts and such that dictate otherwise, uh, potentially. But there's also this thought that people like myself, I've still not seen the first Venom movie, mm-hmm. uh, which I'm going to remedy probably next week. I have plans to, to I've scheduled out time in my week to watch a movie. I think I'm going to watch Venom. Good. Um, yes, I'm looking forward to it. I got to finish Seven Samurai first on HBO mm-hmm. Max. I, okay. That's and that's three and a half hours of nothing but Japanese. It's very hard to read the subtitles the whole time. Yeah. Um, So that's, that's sidebar about my life, but I'm just saying, I'm going to carve out time to watch Venom. People like myself who are upset about the rating and upset about the Mm runtime, putting him in no way home, I think says you haven't seen Venom one or two go check it out Mm -hmm. because Venom and Spider-Man will be in theaters at the same time. I mean, they'll overlap just a hair may maybe i don't know i, I mean, don't know how I, long sony is keeping their movies in theater anymore typically uh studios will leave their movies in theaters for about two months right right, right around right around two but months. i think they've adjusted that now post covid like when they, i think oh, it's okay. now down to 45 45 days is what okay. these major studios and, are sticking to but it's still possible so i, I don't yeah. mean to like just cut you off no but, no no, but no it's no. still possible either way it Sorry. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, no, it's totally possible. You're right. I mean, yeah. and it's totally improbable at the same time because uh-huh. of I didn't know about the 45 day right, thing. Right, so right, 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 right. it is what it is what it is on on that. You know, it's not a big deal. I just think that that could lend to it. You know, oh, you didn't. And it actually kind of makes sense if it does go out of theaters within a certain amount of time before we get to No Way Home, mm-hmm. because it hypes up the potential for their Blu-ray releases. And True. they, they got to make money there, too. Um, it's not, I mean, it is all about the box office in a lot of ways, but then it mm-hmm. hits the shelves at target Walmart and all these other places, mm-hmm. you know, it's there, it's, yeah. it's going to be there and people are going to pick it up, especially if either venom from either universe shows mm-hmm. up in this movie. I mean, I, I can only imagine if Topher Grace shows up as venom in this movie too, because that's wild and random as well. Yeah. It very easily could happen because we already got Doc Ock, apparently Sandman, and mm-hmm. also the Green Goblin. I mean, mm-hmm. that was 100% Willem Dafoe's laugh. So mm-hmm. um, it's very possible any one of these Venom guys could show up. I mean, yeah. and all of this because of a stupid hat. <laughs> well, of all the things. See, I could, I could still keep going because I do think 
see, I, I'm of the belief, though, that we are getting a reference to Tom Hardy's Venom. If we don't see him, I think somebody's going to make a statement about him in No Way Home. Yeah. And, and that's just fair. so that's a little bit of a tease as to what could potentially happen. Because, okay, Venom 2 is carnage. How do you top that with a Venom 3? The you answer is Spider Man. You only top it with Spider Man. That's Absolutely. the answer. So yeah. and, I feel I, like that's I what it's heading you. to is, is a Venom 3 or where they market it as a, like they did with Batman versus Superman, or they market it kind of like that, where it's more so like. A sequel for both of those characters, if you will. Sure. Yeah. And I think it, it creates a whole new Sony Spider Verse situation. I mean, I you can call it whatever you want, but it, it just it goes to show us that Tom Hardy and Andy Circus both are sitting around here talking. I don't know why nobody's asking Tom Holland, probably because they know he'll spill everything. <laughs> you know, the dude just cannot keep his mouth. He's done really no. well, actually, yeah. with no way home. He's he's gotten a lot better. Yeah. But all that to say, I, I think you're right. You know, especially when we look at this Andy Circus quote back from the 20th of the or I believe it was yesterday. Uh, there's he says there's more. You already read it, but I want to reread it. There's sure. more more still to unpack in the Venom verse before we go there. And when there is in reference to Venom making a debut in the MCU, um, the MCU. I'm sorry. At this point, if Venom's if Tom Hardy's Venom and Tom Holland Spider Man both end up in a movie together mm. venom's in the mcu by association sure i, I would agree with that and that's how i'm gonna look at it and that also means carnage is in the mcu by association mm -hmm. and to borrow a phrase from star wars that makes it canon Facts. um <laughs> and that's where we're at with what if right now i mean what if is this multiverse where the watchers out there watching all these crazy scenarios take place yeah. but even as he's watching he even iterates at the beginning of the very first one. Mm -hmm. Hey, in a different universe, Steve Rogers became Captain America. But in sure. this universe, so he he's aware of it. And I think within the multiverse, we have a carnage. We have a venom. We I just I don't see how hard it is to just listen. You take this amount of money. Mm -hmm. We'll take this amount of money. We'll pay whatever you want to pay. We just want Tom Holland. I mean, Tom uh, Hardy in the movie. I just, sure. it's not, it's just not that, I feel like it's not that hard. I remember a few years ago, Hugh Jackman talking about whether or not the X-Men could show up with Spider-Man in the MCU, which at the time were all in three different franchises. Yeah. Right now, Sony's the only holdout. So waiting on this to happen, I, I just, it, I want it to, I want to see it happen so bad. And I know we're kind of running out of time here, but hey. like, at the hey, same time, I'm a, just like... See, again, there's so much I could say. There's so much I could say about this topic. Well, like, for one, yeah. to the thing that you just said, one of my favorite guys I listen to on YouTube, Robert Meyer Burnett, he always says this, it ain't show friends, it's show business. That's my rebuttal yes. to the, you know, you take That's this fun. amount of money, yeah. you take this amount of money. Second thing I that know. I want to say, I just to maybe yeah. segue and, and end this conversation a little bit, I am interested, once you see Venom, I want you to consider this when you watch it. Whose portrayal of Spider-Man would pair better with Tom Hardy's Venom? Because in my personal opinion, I think Andrew Garfield honestly goes with him best. Uh, well, and maybe having, you'll better yeah. be able to answer that once you actually see Venom. Well, having never seen Venom, mm -hmm. but I've seen the trailers i've listened to the song sure you know and the song's dope i mean it just it is it's awesome but i think yeah you're right like even though i've never seen it i think oh andrew garfield spider-man kind of edgy kind of gritty kind of dark has that kind of not dark night feel to it sure. but like it's got this cinematography i don't know something to it and it feels a lot like venom i feel like and yeah. If that's what I mean, shoot! If Andrew Garfield came back and, and was Spider Man, and he that was his Venom, that would be wild. See, what but, if we get like a No Way Home scene where we look into Garfield's verse, if you will? Oh my gosh! And, and it's him clashing with Tom Hardy's Venom, and there's our tease for Venom Three. That would, wouldn't that be, be something? No, <laughs> I mean, to have Andrew Garfield just come back, I mean, would be insane yeah i mean and like we talked about this in the previous weeks previous episodes of geekverse but 
Andrew Garfield's making the late night rounds Mm -hmm. or he had been making the late night rounds. I haven't seen anything this week. I doubt that maybe we're over that hill now, but yeah, maybe it's uh, Toby next. (laughs) Oh man. They start interviewing Toby. It's a done deal. All three (laughs) of them are in the movie. You know, it's a done deal, but it'd be cool if like we peel back the, the, I don't even know what to call it. The curtain, I guess, of the multiverse. And sure. We the spider see, webs uh, of the multiverse. Yes. There you go. <laughs> the spider webs of the multiverse get pulled away like an Indiana Jones finding artifacts. And we see there's Tom Hardy and he's fighting Andrew Garfield. And we all say, Holy crap. What have we been missing this whole time? Like, you know, yeah. and we got to remember that Sony very easily could, do that because they still own those andrew garfield movies and they were actively setting up a sinister six film which the mcu kind of has already done with tom mm. uh hall and spider-man and we got to remember that so yeah. it's still even though it's a ridiculous thing to think about sure. it's just be it just be cool but if it happens We'll all go nuts. Yeah. Because well, it'll be cool. I mean, it'll be awesome. I hope to get answers in No Way Home as far as what the future of yeah. Spider Man and Venom could possibly be. And I, I know we spent a lot of time on that topic, but I think that is a fantastic, fascinating topic to spend some time on. But you let us know what you think. If you think that we are going to see Tom Hardy's Venom in the MCU and maybe even No Way Home, please. Let us know. We would love to have a conversation about that. But uh, let's do this. 